Welcome to part two of this series on classic rock piano riffs. I've already taught you the bass riff in the right hand with pulse and some very Beatles day tripper like chords in the right hand. But you had to do that as a pulse, and then we talked about a few mental and technical aspects of developing your independence, right? So for this, we'll just continue from where we left off. We'll take the same two uh, chords. This one B D E and B C sharp E. So now we could play them as the pulse, or we could play them as arpeggios. So what is an arpeggio? Where you take the chord and you just break the notes up. Instead of going, you go in some pattern one by one of uh, pattern so the pattern i am suggesting now you could have easily done that but this is what we call as an even arpeggio pattern where there are no accents as such or the accents are only at the down beat or at the strong beat beat 1 in this case 1 and 2 3 you know 1 and 2 2 and 3 and 4 so this is not what we are going to try to do for a rock idea you're trying to group this in threes so you count 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 but you group your phrase which is b d e you group that in threes it's a three note phrase so what you could do 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and now if you had not said 1 and 2 and etc and just played it in threes you may have even considered it as triplets 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and you know but that makes your body sway that's more like a triplet feel where you're dividing the beat by 3 here i'm dividing by 2 because the pulse is 1 and 2 and 3 4 1 so the pulse is 2 3 Four. The division of the pulse is one and two and, which is dividing by two, not three. One and. That's why we say one and two and three and four and. So the division is by two, but the groupings of the phrase we are creating or the accented phrase, because it's why we say accent would be because it's on the off beats. It's going to land on the ands more often than or as often as the ons. Or you'll have more. landings on the accented notes or the off beats than the on you know so it's a combo on and off so that's why we call it accents you go 1 and 2 and so still dividing by 2 but grouped in threes so it goes 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 1 there we go so you kind of get confused so it's important to know when the cycle of the left hand is ending right so it goes so if one let's revise the left hand so the left hand is ending its cycle over two bars it's a two bar bass riff so how long will it take for groups of 3 quavers or eighth notes to kind of end over two bars it's not going to end exactly so you may want to end it earlier and change it to the next chord uh, by the very end of the second bar so something like change you need to have that variation as well otherwise it'll start sounding monotonous so b d e then b c sharp e and the arpeggio will be low note middle note high note okay so change 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 okay so 
you can just look at it as a kind of a rule or a goal where you play each grouping of 3 five times it will not resolve exactly over two bars but that's not what we are going for we are going for like an unresolved accented phrase which is going to sound very interesting for the ear okay so you could play this either around middle c or you could play it a bit higher let me demonstrate both this is uh, lower now the challenge here is again independence so independence earlier was to give us the pulse now we are playing quavers eighth notes which is actually easier but we are accenting those eighth notes you may find that doing this is a lot easier one and two and three, because it's a cyclic repetitive pattern while over that is not so easy so give it maybe count 5 5 of each of these arpeggios 1 2 3 4 and 1 there we go played a bit higher you are not so confident to go from d to c sharp just play just b d i just thought it'll be a nice contrast to add those two chords so ta these sort of changing elements you know not just run of the mill patterns or run of the mill chord progressions inspires eventually will inspire the singer or the melody player to to do something over this so you might not even consider this as the melody this is just the backbone or the foundation of the song the melody will now follow right so that's about the arpeggio guys and let's also look at a turn around which you can pretty much use for this whole thing very inspired from the song my sharona by the knack where you go my sharona right okay listen to that song so now what i've tried to do at the end is ta na 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 ta na 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 ta na 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 so a a g a so you could do fifth chords or power chords a a g a a a a a a a g a a a a a a a g a that's your base a a a a a a g a and then g a g a g A A A A A A A G A G A G A G. That's the pattern on the left. Bam 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 bam. And the right, you could play triads. A major, A major, G A G A G A G. See the notation. We've mapped it out. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and slowly. could do for how long turn around even this one turn that's the turn around so in this part of the four part series we've covered an arpeggio pattern in groups of 3 also called as accented groupings those those two phrases and the challenge is your you're having a pulse which is important for the audience even always then you're dividing the pulse by two units or quavers or eighth notes but then you're not playing da 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 or you're not playing da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba you're not playing those even on beat hitting phrases you know you're doing dub 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 look at how my head is moving and when i say dub 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 the every the, the loud da the the accented thing which i am doing with my voice is not coinciding with my head all the time it starts with dub dub see it doesn't really go with the head all the time some of the times yes but 
That's the beauty of accented phrasings, guys. Lot of these things are there on our channel. You just have to type accents or accented. I guess those keywords would help on our YouTube. Uh, also, you could visit our website, NathanielSchool.com. Under that, there's free lessons. And there you can just key in, you know, type in what you're looking for. And most of our videos are hosted there. We, we, we just re, re-host it there if you if that's the right word. And um, if you want to learn this stuff in a more organized way with our courses, you can also do consider signing up for our online learning programs at the school, not only for piano, for all the other instruments as well, vocals, guitars, drums, bass, and so on. Cheers, and don't forget to join the next part as well. Find the next part and come there. There's more. There are two more variations. Part three, part four are waiting for you. Keep your pianos, books, everything and head over. Hit that bell icon for regular notifications. Subscribe if you haven't already and you will know when the next parts are coming. You'll also know when any other video we are going to ever do is coming. Uh, Patreon notes are, are there as a PDF with all the notes of all the parts in one booklet. Do consider getting yourselves a copy. Cheers. See you in the next one.